Right, so seeding day today. So excited, of course I chose the hottest day of the week. Still under 30 degrees though, so it's not that bad. 28. Um, so let's get straight into this. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Right, so as you guys saw last week, I was prepping my lawn for overseeding. So today, we're going to overseed, do a light little dusting of a top dress, basically not to change in levels, just to hold some moisture in the seed. But if you want to see how I prep this lawn, go back to last week's video, Saturday's video, and you'll be able to see it there. Now, I did pull out quite a bit more winter grass through these areas here, sprayed the nut grass, and sprayed a couple of other weeds I found in the lawn. Bit of kaiku out the front as well, just with some roundup that was creeping into my lawn. It wasn't too much of it though, luckily. So today, the lawn's cut low enough, so we're just going to overseed it first um, with my drop spreader and go from there. Right, using the SR4660ST today, so this is ryegrass. Just going to go ryegrass again. I might do Kentucky bluegrass in future, but I just want to get this seed down and this lawn repaired and ryegrass. Mm. Love the stuff and it comes up within three to five days, especially at the moment with our soil temps and our temperatures at night dropping down quite low. I want this to come up quick, quick as it can. So that's the seed there, some beautiful rah rah. Um, yeah, we'll just chuck her out. Um, that's, that's it about it. Now I'm only doing, doing over sowing right here today and a little bit heavier in the patches that are a little bit more bare. So I'm only putting out about Oh, three kilos per hundred square meters, so not a lot. Um, and then the top rate would be about seven kilos per hundred square meters. Anyway, let's put it down. Let's get it done. I've actually had second thoughts, and I'm going to use this drop spreader instead just so it doesn't flick into the garden beds because I always get grass coming up which is not fun. <laughs> Pretty good, it just takes absolutely ages. Um, so now that's done, and I need to rake it in because it's dropped down nicely. And we cut the lawn a little bit lower with that rotary mower. We're going to top dress with this black stuff just here. So, this is from AL in town, um, great for holding moisture in your seed. It stanks <laughs> real good. Um, the only issue with it is, I find it has bark chip, and I found undies in here before as well. So, you just don't know what you're going to get. That's what, I'm not using sand today, the only reason is because. We're not trying to top dress and get levels here today, just trying to keep some moisture in our seed. Now, if you want to do a top dress as well as heading, you can do it with sand as well. I just found last time I put sand down and put seed down, it did struggle a little bit with keeping the moisture in. So that's the main reason. Plus this stuff is black. So it's gonna keep our soil temps up just that little bit more and get a bit more better germination because again, our nights here are dropping. Anyway, let's do it, let's start top dressing.
then, now time to rub this bad boy in. Actually, I'll just show you quickly what it looks like. So, as you can see, we didn't go too thick. I mean, I'm stuffed after that, I'm getting old. So we didn't go too thick, it looks thick there, but that'll rub in quite nicely. You'll see in a minute, once we rub this in. Across here, this black stuff always makes the lawn look like really green. Now, I also want to mention today, I'm not gonna be putting fertilizer down because this stuff has nitrogen in it. Um, and the seed's gonna feed fine off this stuff here. It's called Nitro Top Dress. I'm puffing, man. And out here, it's not that thick. I probably used all up a little bit over a meter over the whole area, so I used less than I would I thought I would, which which is fine. So my yard is about 350 square meters, so I used a better meter on the whole thing, maybe a little bit more, maybe maybe a meter and a half. Because that, yeah, that's probably about half a meter just there. That's left just here, which I'll top dress the green a little later with that. Um, I already chucked some down the real bare spots. And then the rest I will probably chuck in the back of the ute or something and use it if I need to put any more seed down in areas that don't come up, which we should be okay, because the lawn is pretty, pretty covered. Right, so now when I go around, push it around with this lawn level, these lawn levels are available on my website in a 36 inch or a 40 inch. You just go the bigger size if you've got a bigger yard. That's all there is to it. Um, let's get it done. dinner so good um, I didn't as you can see from this bit of a close-up here I didn't go too close I mean too heavy sorry um, with the top dress which I've been talking about the whole time um, so yeah that's sort of the thickness I've gone as you can see there um, on the lawn just there but it's, it looks pretty good like I still put out a lot more than I actually thought I was going to you know, it always looks different when you're doing it say what anyway happy with this so keen for the lawn to come back as I said, it's not really looking that bad now that the fungus is gone. It's just those few dry spots we got, like that spot there, went up against the shed. And the reason they dried at first, because they are hot spots, because the sun reflects off those areas and heats them up just that little bit quicker. Plus our root system has shrunk. Although I found over the last little while since I've been using kelp through my Easy Flow, which is just down through here, um, under this mess here, Easy Flow down there. Um, I found that the watering time, like, I'm starting to be able to extend my watering out a little bit, so I'm guessing the roots are starting to shoot a bit. The lawn's sort of loving it too. I've got some wetting agent mixed in with that as well, which I'll run for a couple of days um, while I'm watering this to get the seed to germinate, but I'll shut it off in a couple of days because I don't want too much wetting agent around the place, which leads me to telling you guys that when you put seed down like this, make sure you water, water, water. So I'm going to be watering this probably four to five times a day especially because it's windy at the moment and it's drying out the surface a lot quicker. But you basically want it moist at all times. You don't want it to dry out. Now don't flood it. Um, and if you've got rain coming in, maybe back the water off a bit so you don't get flooding as well from that. We've got no rain for the next week by the looks of the radar. So probably perfect for seeding because I find every time I put seed down, it gets washed all right way down the street. <laughs> um, now a question I always get as well about seeding is what I do about the birds. Not a lot you can do, but I'll tell you what, they're not gonna get all your seed. Like you put quite a bit of seed down, you're gonna be fine with a couple of birds coming in here and there. I mean, sometimes I'll run out and go, oi, oi. like try to scare them off, but yeah, like birds aren't gonna be a big issue. Now, I could have put some fertilizer down first. I mean, with this, um, normally I put out my inoculate um, starter or inoculate complete, um, but this time around, I put fur down only four weeks ago and we've got this nitro top just down which has some nitrogen as well so we're going to go with that but yeah i'll keep you guys updated make sure you guys show you guys when this germinates i'll put some pics up on instagram or something um so keep an eye out for those anyway thanks guys so much for watching really really appreciate it make sure you guys subscribe to the channel we're nearly at 100,000k 100,000k 100, 100, wow that'd be crazy <laughs>
at 100k subscribers. <laughs> um, so we're getting close. Um, I think we're like 1.5k off or something, which is awesome. Um, so I really appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. Excited to see this lawn in a couple of weeks. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you.